This main menu music has no business going this hard, dude. I feel like I'm in a superhero game or something. What's up, guys? And welcome to Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. This is a full-on paleontology simulator. We are going to be excavating bones, cleaning them off, displaying them, doing whatever paleontologists do. I'm honestly not even sure, but we're about to hop right into this. So I'm really excited about this game. It's from Playway, which they are the publisher that publishes pretty much all of the really good sim games. I mean, I'm talking House Flipper and The Tenants and Thief Simulator and Car Mechanic Simulator and Prison Simulator and so many series that we've had that have been amazing on this channel have come from Playway Games. So I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to check it out. I know we've had a lot of dino stuff on the channel recently, so I hope you guys are cool with that. And uh, here we go. We are going to start up a brand new game. So technically, I think this comes out next week. They actually they hit my, my DMs with a code, so thank you to them for that. I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. Pyramid Games presents Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. All right. This must must be home, I guess. Is this home for us? Look at this. Triceratops horridus. Orinthomonas edamonchinus. That's a T-Rex right there. If I ever did see one, Tyrannosaurus Rex, baby. All right, so I'm, I'm going to go underneath his tail. We are going to head outside, and we are going to see what we've got going on. Ooh, Platinum Patron of Science, Kendra. Gold Patron is Jake Renshaw. Getting lit up in here drinking that Patron, huh? We're slowly running out of space in the museum. Who would have thought it's all started so innocently? Okay. When I was four, I loved to draw dinosaurs. I'm going to draw this thing. Can I pick up the pen? Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. This is... This is, fr this is frightful. I, I don't... I really don't know if I would have trusted myself to do this. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 We're actually not not looking too bad. Come across there, get his belly. Got to get that back leg back there. We've got some nice now we missed one up towards the front, but we're actually not looking too bad. I'd give that like an A minus. Let me let me just fix that up. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Looks like a child drew it, but we'll we'll take it. Let's go ahead and continue here. So one, it was one of the most exciting days in my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. And now here we are at eight years old, finding our first fossil. Or who, who let us out here playing in the woods by ourselves at eight? This seems a little bit dangerous. Okay. I like when we, ha oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Are we on a field trip or something? Somebody's honking at us. Is that a raptor claw? I lost it half a year later. At the age of 14, nearly all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Ooh. A lot, we've got a little prologue here. This is more than they typically do for these sorts of games. This is nice. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. So I'm going to put that there. Can pick this up. That's a part of his neck. There's that back leg. Base of the tail. Rear leg, front leg. This is his head. This is going to be another leg. And there's the tip of the tail. Not too shabby. Oh, we're going to put multiple together. All right, then. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I, I at least have the sketch. Okay, so I'm going to say that probably puts there. Uh, so we have, to, we have to guess. That's going to be in the back, I think. Yep. That's going to be up there. Obviously, this is going to be one of those front feet. There's his head. There's another front foot over there. Tip of his tail, base of his tail, leg, and a couple of spikes. Oop. Did that one go in there? There it is. There it is. Now we might have to put this final one together ourselves, I'm going to guess. Now it's time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sheer knowledge and skill. This is going to go up towards the front. This is the base of the tail. This is going to be one of the arms. This is going to be one of the feet. Doesn't matter which one, I don't think. Are you, oh, that's a foot all the way over there. Okay. Uh, this is going to be another foot. This looks like a leg. Leg over on the other side. I mean, we're actually doing pretty well here. Here's the other arm. Now, this is where it might get a little bit tough. No, nope. There. Got that there. 
This is gonna be up there. Just kidding, it's gonna be in the middle. This is gonna be a hindquarters. This is gonna be over on the other side. That's his chest. Look at that, I got a T-Rex. Stego Brachio T-Rex. Maybe we could use more practice and build one of them again. Nah, I'm good. We're good to go. This is cool. So we're seeing him grow up and he's got a passion for dinosaurs. He's doing his thing and he's eventually gonna grow up to do that for his job. A couple of years later, the money I had received as a reward in that competition turned out to be of invaluable help. Certificate of excellence. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work in the north of the country. It's a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. Took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. Look at this. So we are up north somewhere. We've got a car here. Okay, we've got our controls over on the left. We can sprint. We can jump. We've got a tablet here, messages, organization info. Welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, miners came across something that appears to be dinosaur remains. Managed to get the mine closed until the matter is dealt with. As neither the workers nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown. We have to act fast. The crew, which was initially assigned to this case, reports the remains are most likely the bones of an ornithomimus. I had to leave, but according to their reports, there may be uh, many undiscovered fossils in the area. Your job is relatively easy. Head to the area marked on your map and leave no stone unturned. The area is marked on your radar as well, so you shouldn't have problems finding it. Unless you're an idiot. Not going to run that bias. The off-road car park nearby is fueled and ready. We hope your work will be fruitful. With your help, we should be able to finally complete the full skeleton for our new museum. The missing bones that we're looking for are a hip bone, right arm bone, and a vertebrae. For more details, check out the knowledge tab on your tablet so we've got our map here so we are here currently and it looks like that's where we're going to be going you can place a marker there beautiful fuel canisters hub location okay so we can see different things around the map can't use knowledge yet can't fast travel yet get in the car and go to the excavation site sounds good oh we've already we already did this nice over the tablet place a target marker this is the first tent you'll be visible for a few seconds then it'll hide game's been saved okay sweet all right so we're gonna hop in the vehicle here Dude, we could actually drive around into the, okay, this, this is deep. This, this is gonna be a great game. I hope you guys are ready for this. So this is a, a mine, like they were mining for, you know, earth materials and things like that. And they came across some dino pieces. Uh-oh, what do we do here? Removing obstacles. We're gonna have to use a chainsaw to sledgehammer? Bro, this is sick. So I'm gonna hop out of this beast here. How do we, uh, where are our two? Oh, two is our chainsaw. This is cool. So you you can't even cut on the the knots and stuff in the wood. Like you've got to you've got to cut on the simple parts. So we're gonna cut that bad boy up. I'm assuming cut it into a bunch of little pieces so they're movable. And then can I pick these up? Can I just yeet it? Is this the throw? Oh, yeet! All right. Oh, grab another piece. Yeet! Love it, dude. That I mean, this guy is is pretty strong. Shoot, looks like we won't be able to pick. Pick these two pieces up. I have to cut these a little bit smaller. Just like so. And now we're going to be able to pick these up and eat them. Get them out of the way. This one I still can't cut. All right. I mean, it's it's going to be a little bit tedious, but I like it. I like it when it's realistic. Oh, I can't just... I, I can't pick that one up, period. I, I don't think. Get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. I would imagine with this off-road vehicle, we're going to be able to just drive on by this. Nicely done. Dude, this is sick. Can we go to first person mode? Be oh, you've got two by two by four and four by four mode. I don't think ooh, we're gonna have to break down these rocks here. Or do we can we maybe through the muddy area we can swap to four-wheel drive and we're gonna be able to go through this. Nicely done. Obviously, want to try to save on gas and not use the four-wheel drive when we're not in the muck. So we're gonna swap back here. Where are we going? Do we have our map? Oh, we, we went the wrong way. Well, hold on. I'm gonna leave this here for a second so as not to waste any gas. I think this area back here might, it looked like a little side road, like a little cut through. I think we might be able to break the rocks on that, but I'm not gonna drive the car all the way back if we can't. Where was it? Um. Was it this? Can we break these? 
we can't break these. Okay, we just, we, I guess we have to go all the way around. We're gonna have to drive all the way down here and go around. Hold on a second. I just saw something down in the bottom. We have a drone? Oh, <laughs> bro, what? I don't know how to go up and down. Oh, space is up. Okay, so this, I can't bring up my map while we're in the drone. We're flying too far. Okay. Th dude, this, this is sick. All right, how do I put this, how do I put it away? Do I need to go back to myself? Can, can I catch it? You good, bro? All right, we're, we're good. Obviously, this is the first, uh, the first mission, so it's, it's gonna be a bit simpler. We're, oh, we got a flashlight too. That's good to know. Um, it's gonna be a bit simpler. We're not gonna have to work too hard, but I think eventually, you know, it's probably not gonna have a specific area marked. We're gonna have to fly the drone. We're gonna have to find different things. We're gonna have to be resourceful. It's gonna be great. Here is the, the rock that we're gonna have to break down. Just gonna come through here and just break this thing up. Just keep keep going. Should be in manageable pieces for us. Get this guy off the road. Back in the whip we go, and we're just gonna continue on our merry way. We do have a handbrake, so we could do a little bit of drifting if we wanted. I believe we're heading in the right direction here. We just double check our map. Yep. To the left here. To the right. I wish we could drive in first person. Not being able to drive in first person's messing me up a little bit. So it looks like this whoop, is gonna be our area. Whoop. Gonna secure the area here. Press space to s oh to skip. I didn't mean to skip it. I thought it said press space to secure it. So we're going to want to use our GPR to find stones underground and then place flags. And then we're going to want to use either a shovel or a pickaxe to be able to dig them up and then inspect them to identify stones of other geologic periods, remove them quickly and watch out for hints up on the top right. All right. Sounds good to me. We could do that. So this, this, we've roped it off. This is our spot. We're going to want to, uh, how do we, is this, this is our thing. Okay, find the right area. So I'm going to search around, search around. This is a big area. Let me check our map. I mean, it could, it could be anywhere. We've got crate pallets over here. What do these do? So this is like a little, I, I don't even know what to call it. You're in the right place. Use the GPR to find the, the scan area. Okay. I'm, I'm searching. I don't see much yet, but we're going to, oh, 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 oh. Oh, we've got action. We've got action. Might be in here. No. This is like a visual metal detector or something. I'm gonna come around through here. Can't use it in the water. Okay. Looking for any hot spots we can find. Ah, uh, this this has got to be it. There was nothing over back yon. Oh, oh, there's we we got a hot spot. We got one. All right. Let me. I'm going to place a flag there. Dude, I, this game is sick. This is actually really, really well done. Like, it, the fact that it's like a real flag that's like waving in the wind over there. I, I was expecting some sort of a GPS marker or something. I'm assuming, since it's kind of a tutorial, might be the only one. I don't think we have to be as precise as, as what we are. Oh, there's a little bit of red up towards the top of the screen. Is that trolling me? I think that's just a... A scratch on the screen or something. Okay, so we've got our flag over here. So now this is soft ground. We're gonna be able to just use our shovel, start digging. Oop. Gonna try to dig around it. Just gonna try to dig around it here. I think we're getting down to the rock, where we're gonna have to use our pickaxe. Oop. Is this it right here? All right, we're gonna need to use our pickaxe. Let's make sure not to hit the thing that we're trying to unearth. Oh, we got a couple in here. Dude, this is so nice. Fossils inspection. Detecting fossils. Small amounts of radiation. This allows us to use a Geiger counter to search for them. It'll indicate stones with dinosaur bones. Use a trowel to remove mud from the stone. Prepare it for plastering. And then after removing the mud, you can do a visual inspection of the stone again to find out what species you discovered. Inspection of small stones is done in your hands. Large stones you can inspect with the Geiger counter tool on a pallet. Okay. So now, we've got our Geiger counter. There's no bone in that rock. There's no bone in that rock. 
There's no bone in that rock. Shoot, there's nothing here. We didn't find a fossil. What kind of a paleontological game is this? So even though we don't have bones, we're still going to be able to protect these fossils. We're going to want to plaster them up. We're going to put them into our crate. The smaller ones go in the crates and the big ones just simply go on the pallets. And then we're going to have to transport the crates back to our hub. And at the hub, we're going to be able to ship these off to the museum. Interesting. Okay, so we... we do we want to do a visual inspection? Carry out to perform a visual inspection. We, we don't have any bones. We know that. Okay, so I guess, do we do we want to... I don't think we want to plaster these, right? Because they... Whoa! So we just took that down. Okay, so these are just rocks. What is, what is this thing? What is this? Let me pick this up. What is this? Perform a visual inspection. Find out... What bones? The rock is empty, but it's just a fossil. So we, we want to keep this. Let me eat that down. Now we're going to want to plaster it? No. Or maybe it's not delicate. Do we want to take this? I don't know if we're keeping it. I can't tell if we're keeping this. I don't know if we might not be keeping this. I th think that was a... I'm pretty sure that was a false... Uh, a, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that was a false positive. We've got three three things here. So if it's just a rock, we don't want to keep it. There's one there and one there. If it's just a rock, we're, we're, we're pitching that thing out. All right, so we want our shovel, and we're going to start digging. So we've, we've got three of these bad boys around here. Got to be careful about the dirt. Here we go. Just going to dig all these things up. I see two of them. We got two in sight, baby. Two in sight. Just gonna get these things out of the ground if we can. I don't know how deep around them you have to go. Let me get our uh, our pickaxe out. We should have one over yonder, right? There's one down there. There's our third one. Okay. Grab our Geiger thing. Oh, we've got a hit, baby! Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Let's go. Give me this thing. I'm, can I pick it up? No, I can't pick it up. So we're, we want to we want to use eight. No. Oh, do we want to plaster it? No. We might we might not have it. It's not unearthed yet. That was the problem. Okay, I'm gonna pick this bad boy up. We're gonna we're gonna take it over here. Let's get away from all these others. Ooh, I see I see it. I see it. Set it down gently. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna use our little thing, and we're gonna take the stuff off of it. Beautiful. And now we're going to be able to plaster it because we know for sure what it... Well, can I pick it up and, and figure out what it is? Do we know what it is? It's it's definitely a bone. It, it, it is a... It's of the bone variety. So we're going to plaster this thing up. This is so sick, dude. And now we're going to be able to pick this up and we want to put this in the crate, I believe. Put it inside. Spine set number one. Beautiful. So we're going to open the trunk on the car. It's already open. We're going to grab this crate. And we're going to throw this in the back of the car. Looks like we've got a spot for three different ones. Game's been saved. Do we need to find more? Once you're done with extracting and securing your findings with plaster, put them in boxes. Use your car to transport them to Transport Hub. Mark to your map. If you do this, your tablet. Send them away to your museum. Okay, so I think I think we're good. I, 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 I can't tell. Can we exit this beast? How do we leave? Is there more that we could find? How do you know when you've, you've you know, cashed the space out? I, I don't know if there's more that we could possibly find. So it's, it's the, the sand looking stuff is where we find our fossils. I'm going to do a quick, a quick look through here. Just make sure we're leaving no stone unturned. We've got a couple more guys here that we weren't messing with. All right, we can, we can work with this. We're going to need our, our pickaxe. I don't know how we left these guys here. I can get all around this. That's going to be with our shovel. And then we can get our little Geiger thing. No. Neither one of those are it. Oh, that's one right there. I think we need to get all three, all three things. That's not one. Okay. Can I pick this up? Nope. I think it's still stuck in there. So let's... Let's get this thing out. You can see the, the the bone in there. Pick this up. We're going to take this back to base. Get our little spade out like we're gardening or something. I'm going to take all this stuff off. 
I mean, I'd like to pick it up. It's definitely a bone. Looks like it could be some sort of a... Maybe a face or a skull? I don't know. Alright. Let's go ahead and plaster this bad boy up. Make sure it's all protected. Wouldn't want to, uh, to see anything bad happen to it. Put it in here. Can you put it in any one you want? Does it matter? It's an unknown species, unknown bone. So I'm going to take this. We can put this up on the top of the Jeep. It's not really a Jeep. It's kind of a Land, land Rover. Holy cow, there's more of them over here. Do they spawn after you're done with it? I feel like they must spawn after you... Either that or we're just not very, you know, observant. Because there's a lot of them over here. There's at least three, right? Test it. Test it. Test it. No luck across the board. There's only those three. The problem is I have no idea how you tell... If you're done. I mean, I guess in real life, you never really know that you're done either, but... I feel like for a game, we could be out here all day just searching for more fossils when they literally don't exist. I'm thinking we might we might be cashed out here. We already checked that whole area over there. There was nothing there. That's where our thing ends. Yeah, I, I, we might be able to just drive out of here. That, that might be a wrap. Close that up. Are we free to go? Oh, okay. Look at that. We were missing one, but we got it done, baby. Go ahead and drive out on here. Now, the thing is, we do have to remember, you've got to gas up after each one. Obviously, we've lost about an eighth of a tank here. Oh, um, <clears throat> definitely don't have millions of, potential millions of dollars of, of rare earth bones here uh, that we're just, we're, we're sending, sending it around these corners. But yeah, we've got to remember to gas up. You've got to remember, so like, what the, the, Equipment that we had to set up that excavation site was up on top of the vehicle when we came out So we've got to like reset that we've got to order new pallets and stuff. So it's it's actually a, a fairly skirt a Fairly involved game, which is kind of cool. We're going the right way, right? I'm pretty sure Bring up no, okay Let's get our four-wheel drive on. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're going the right way. We're, we're just gonna have to hope for the best So this is our hub back here. I'm assuming this is where we're gonna be able to transport these things to the museum. So we're gonna pull up to that. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's also grab this. Shoot, there's three spots. I'm wondering if we messed this up and there was a third one we were supposed to get. If not, we'll uncover it eventually. I'm not worried about it. Now we're gonna need our comp Oh no, it was the travel tab. S no. I think we might, we might be missing one. Okay, well. This was dumb. If there's one thing I pride myself on, it's being thorough and running into rocks as we're doing so. I like that we've got a little gate here that opens up for us. Yeah, so we we were we were not done yet. We've got to find there's there's something somewhere that we missed. These? Trevor, you didn't check these? Are you serious? Oh no, we did check those. Oh my goodness, it was underneath it, dude. There was an oh. So honestly, what we need to do, we need to pick things up and get the rocks out of the way because this one was all the way underneath it. That's why we couldn't see it. That makes sense. That makes total sense. I'm I'm not I'm not too mad at it. Just a little bit, but we're we're gonna be fine. Make sure you look under the rocks, Trev. This is a problem. All right, I'm gonna eat this out of here, and we're gonna have to get these gone too. For us to be able to get out of here, hopefully. Okay, um, we're we're gonna have to dig our way out, I guess. Dig a little path. There it is. All right. So now we're gonna be able to actually finish this off. Get that done. Plaster it up. Interesting. All right, so we got to be careful about that. Hopefully there's some sort of a notification when you're done. Was there, was there like a, was there something I missed? Unknown species, unknown bone. Pick this up. I mean, there was a third slot on our vehicle, so that could have been it. Are we done? Is that going to tell me I'm done? Why do I feel like we might not be done? I don't know. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it with the hope that we're actually, actually done. I mean, your boy's starting to learn how to drive a little bit. I guess that's that's a positive out of the chaos that we just endured. 
Rule of threes in video games. I should have known it, dude. There's always a rule of three. There's always a third thing that you got to get. So now if we put this here. Open your tablet, leave this area, and transport the findings to the museum or continue the excavation. I think we're good to go. Send the crates to the museum. Travel to the museum? Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. Can we see these things in action? Are we going to put them together? What are we, we going to do back at the museum? I don't know. We'll see. Got to find out. This is cool, man. I, there's, there's so many different pieces, so many different, you know, it all fits together. I, I even like the fact that we're having to gas up the car and stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty dope. So here we go. When I arrived at the museum's lab, it was time to start cleaning what I had found. It was a fascinating experience. It required a lot of time and attention, but the result was always worth the effort. Now we're going to have to clean it.